Hello everyone, I'm Anita from the Global Affairs Office of University of Macau. Welcome to join us today. I'm here to give you a brief introduction of Macau, our university, and to provide information for international admission. So first of all, where is Macau? Macau is a special administrative region of the People's Republic of China. SAR means we have a very high degree of autonomy, except dealing with the state level affairs. In Macau, we have our own legislative system, immigration policy, financial system and educational systems. We even have our own currency, which is called Pataka. From the map, you can see that Macau is located on the southeast coast of China. It borders Zhuhai of the Guangdong province to the north, and it's about 60 kilometers to the southwest of Hong Kong. That's about one hour's drive through the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, or one hour by speed ferry. We also have an international airport with direct flights to many cities in China. Um, also to Japan, Malaysia, and Singapore, etc. And you may have heard of the Guangdong, Hong Kong, Macau, Greater Bay Area, which is the, in the China's key strategic planning. Macau is the core city in this national plan and is located in the center of the Greater Bay Area and it has a great significance in the country's implementation of innovation-driven development. Macau is a small city but has a booming economy. In 2018, our GDP per capita was the second highest in the world, and Macau was once a territory administered by Portugal and now a special administrative region of China. Macau's architecture Arts, religions, traditions, food, and community reflect the integration of the Chinese, Western, and Portuguese cultures. It's really a place where East meets West, and the historic center of Macau was inscribed on the UNESCO World Heritage List. Macau is also a very safe city. The vibrant city of Macau is not only home to stunning cathedrals and centuries-old temples, but it's also a city full of modern hotels, luxury resorts, and plenty of tourist attractions. We have many exciting events and festivals throughout the year, such as the Macau International Fireworks Display Contest, the famous Macau Grand Prix, the International Sports and Games, International Music Festival, Art Festival, Food Festival. And we celebrate Chinese New Year, Mid Autumn Festival, Dragon Boat Festival in Macau, as well as the Western holidays, such as Christmas, Easter holidays. We have tourist attractions, such as Giant Panda Pavilion, Beaches, Macau East Asian Games Dome, golf clubs, bungee jumping, sky jumping, skywalk at the Macau Tower, etc. When you come to Macau, you can experience all these entertainments throughout the year. Our university, the University of Macau, is the only internationalized public comprehensive university in Macau. We offer research, cultural, social, and recreational facilities that you would expect from a world-class university. And we have an international and multicultural campus, and we use English for the teaching and working language. Our international reputation is constantly rising. This year, our QS World University ranking is at 322, and the Times Higher Education THE World University ranking is at 201 to 250. We are the number one university in Macau and Portuguese-speaking countries, and in the THE Asian University rankings, we are at number 38th. 
We have seven faculties and five institutes offering high quality academic programs at undergraduate and postgraduate levels that cover a variety of fields. We will go into detail of the faculties and the offering programs in the later session. With the support of the Central and Macau SAR governments, we have established three state key laboratories in microelectronics, Chinese medical sciences, and Internet of Things for smart city. These are the highest level research labs in China. They are endorsed by the Ministry of Science and Technology, which means our university is among the best in these three research areas in China or even in the world. We also have 10 research areas that are ranked among the top 1% in the Essential Science Indicators, ESI. ESI is an important indicator used for evaluating the academic quality and influence of universities and research institutes. The database only ranks the paper that is the top 1% in citation frequency in the last 10 years. In other words, our university is among the top 1% in these 10 research areas, namely engineering, chemistry, computer science, pharmacology and toxicology, material science, biology and biochemistry, clinical medicine, psychiatric psychology, social sciences in general, and um, agricultural sciences. This is an international recognition and academic reputation of the university. For undergraduate education, we implement an innovative holistic four-in-one education model. It consists of discipline-specific education, general education, research and internship education, and community and peer education. Discipline-specific education and general education are conducted in classroom and faculties just like ordinary university. In addition to these classroom teachings, the university also provides opportunity for undergraduate students to participate in research projects and internship programs. Community education is implemented through our unique residential college system. The residential college system functions as a platform for the integration of the four types of the education in the four-in-one education model. The unique residential college system complements the professional education offered by faculties and facilitates students' whole person development through experiential learning. Currently, we have 10 residential colleges and another two new residential colleges are currently under construction. And each residential college can accommodate about 500 students. They are randomly selected across all majors and mixed with international students. And the activities in the residential colleges are very diversified, such as sports and games, high table dinner, culture sharing seminars, public lectures, field trips, community services and musical events, etc. The residential college helps students to enhance and achieve excellence in seven competencies, including civic responsibility, global competitiveness, knowledge integration, teamwork, service and leadership, cultural engagement, healthy living. So together with the academic ability, the student can achieve the whole person development. This is what a student room looks like in the residential college. The room consists of two twin rooms and one washroom in between. So two students share a twin room and two twin rooms share a washroom. So that means four students will be share, sharing the washroom. Each room is equipped with two single beds with matches and two sets of desks, chairs, bookshelves, wardrobes, and cabinets. And there's also a small fridge and air conditioner in each room. 
um, students can be creative and uh, they can decorate the room as they like. The 10 residential colleges each have their own distinctive traditions and facilities, but generally speaking, all the residential colleges have a dining hall, a multifunction rooms, music room, fitness room, student pantry, small library or reading corner, small lecture hall, lecture room, study room and laundry facilities, etc. Our students can also enjoy a wide range of sport facilities on campus, both indoor and outdoor, including the UM Stadium, the Archery Range, Bouldering Wall, the standard size indoor swimming pool, squash court, fitness room, etc. And our, our university actively promotes internationalization. We use English as the main medium of instruction. We have over 80% of the faculty members are from outside Macau. And currently we have established collaboration agreements with more than 230 partners in over 32 countries and regions. And we are ranked number five in international outlook on the latest 2022 THE World University rankings. Our academic programs and, and faculties also receive a wide range of international accreditations. Also, our university constantly encourages students to participate in exchange and study abroad programs. We are committed to continuously increase the quantity and quality of exchange partner universities, as well as to increase the overall student exchange quotas. We currently have um, 135 partner universities in over 24 countries and regions, providing various exchange opportunities, such as semester exchange program, student researcher program, IST internship exchange program, and Erasmus and AULP mobility program. And we also provide uh, support for the outgoing exchange students. The scholarship is from 10,000 to 30,000 patakas, um, depending on the region that the student is going to exchange. It's available for semester exchange program and is on a competitive basis. And the university also organizes many cultural events and activities throughout the year. We have international nights, orientation for new admitted international students, and we have a language day, cultural day, and culture, cultural festivals, food festivals, etc. And also we have over 100 student associations and clubs. Uh, it's ranging from sports, cultural, arts, teams, uh, and then for students to choose to join and to make friends and connect with others in the university. Now we can move on to provide information on international admission. As said previously, we have seven faculties and five institutes offering over 130 programs on both undergraduate and postgraduate levels. First of all, we have our Faculty of Arts and Humanities, we call FAH. The faculty provides students with a holistic learning experience within the context of arts and humanities. The programs including linguistics, translation, literature, history, philosophy and religion. Here is the detail of the offering programs. In bachelor's degree program, um, we have Chinese language and literature, English studies, history, Japanese study, and Portuguese studies. And the English studies and Portuguese studies are the signature program. And the master's degree program, we have um, Portuguese language and intercultural studies, which is the signature program. 
Faculty of Business Administration is a flagship business school for business and management education and nurturing leadership talents for the development of Macau and the world. FBA has international accreditations such as AACSB and AMBA, and the students of the accounting program can obtain the maximum paper exemption from international professional accounting associations such as ACCA, CIMA, CPA Australia, and HKICPA. And the students can also acqu um, acquire other professional qualifications such as CICPA and CFA. So here is the detail of the bachelor's degree program and the master's degree program in FBA. The bachelor's degree program including accounting, finance, business intelligence and data analytics, business administration. Um, the student of business administration can choose one of the five majors uh, at their year two. And then we have international integrated resource management, which is a signature program in FBA. And for the master degree program, we have this Master of Business Administration, MBA. For this MBA course, the applicants will need to have at least three year work experience. And for the Executive Master of Business Administration, EMBA program, the applicant is required to have at least eight years working experience. And all programs in FBA are in English. The Faculty of Education aims to educate and prepare teachers at the pre-primary, primary and secondary levels and help the students to meet the challenges in the 21st century. So the bachelor's degree program are pre-primary education, primary education, secondary education in Chinese, English or mathematics and uh, integrated science. And then in master's degree program, um, FED has educational psychology, which is a signature program of the faculty. Faculty of Health Sciences is a leading research and education institute in biomedical sciences in Macau. And it has three departments, department of Biomedical Sciences, Department of Pharmaceutical Sciences, and Department of Public Health and Medicinal Administration. And if the bachelor degree program including bioinformatics, biomedical sciences, and pharmaceutical sciences and technology. And the master's degree program, they have this new program this year is Global Public Health and the language of instruction in FHS are all in English. And Faculty of Law offers law programs in three languages, which is Chinese, English and Portuguese. And it provides students with a variety of choices and the privilege to become a law professional in a cross-cultural environment. In Faculty of Law, the bachelor's degree programs are the law in three different languages. For master's degree programs, the students can choose the specific area of law. And the international business law is the signature program uh, of the faculty. If you are interested in studying social phenomenon and human behavior, Faculty of Social Sciences is the place for you. The faculty has five departments offering a wide range of programs, including communication, economics, government and public administration, psychology and sociology. So here is the list of the bachelor's degree program and master's degree program in Faculty of Social Sciences. And in bachelor's degree program, psychology is the signature program. And in the master's degree program, criminology and 
criminal justice is the signature program of the faculty. And the language of instruction is in English. Faculty of Science and Technology has six departments and the students that are interested in engineering and computer science may want to know that our programs are accredited by HKIE, Washington r -Code, and CO r -Code, which means our programs have worldwide recognitions. Here is the programs that are offered by Faculty of Science and Technology. In bachelor's degree program, um, the civil engineering and the electromechanical engineering, these are the signature program. And in the master's degree program, um, we have this new program, it's called Internet of Things. Um, it's a new program and it's a signature program in the faculty. And all the language of instruction in faculty of science and technology is English. Okay, in addition to the master's degree programs offered by faculties, we also have other master's degree programs offered by our institutes, such as our master's degree program in data science is offered by Institute of uh, Collaborative Innovation. It's a multidisciplinary program. Students will have fundamental courses taught on big data theory and analysis techniques. And then the students can choose specialization, which is offered by different academic units to learn and study how to apply big data in the real world and to apply in different fields. And if you would like to have an opportunity to study and do research in the state key labs, you can choose one of our master degree program in either Institute of Chinese Medical Sciences or Institute of Microelectronics. Here is the admission requirements for undergraduate programs. Applicants with any of the following qualifications may apply for our bachelor's degree program through the direct admission. These qualifications including um, GCE A-level results, uh, ENES uh, results, um, or ENEM results from Basil, um, IB results, or uh, AST GSAT results from Taiwan, ACT SAT results, or UEC ST PM results from Malaysia, uh, ONET results from Thailand, um, SMA results from Indonesia. Uh, or Canadian secondary school qualification, or if you are already a bachelor's degree holder, uh, or you have an associate degree, a higher diploma holder, or you are currently enrolled in any bachelor's degree program in other higher education institution, you are qualified to apply for our undergraduate programs. And if you are applying for a program with English as the main teaching medium, you will have to attend an interview to evaluate the English proficiency. But if you already have the TOEFL or IELTS or IGCSE um, English exam test result, you can use this result um, to exempt for the English proficiency interview. And our application period for the undergraduate program is from 24th January to 22nd April this year. So basically, you will need to have the completion of the secondary school and then you will have the result of a public examination and together with the English requirements, you are ready to apply for our undergraduate programs. And here is the QR code for the application gateway to our online application system. For admission requirements for a master's degree program, you will need to have um, achieved the equivalent of an overall result of a grade C plus or better in the bachelor's degree studies 
except for the Faculty of Law. And then for English requirement, um, you can use a CET score, a TOEFL score, or IELTS score, or you need to pass the level four or level eight of the test for English major, TEM exam. And also we provide the QR code for the application gateway for applying for the master's degree program. And here is the fees for undergraduate international students. For your reference, it includes application fee, tuition fee, and dormitory fee. And for updates of fees, and you can use the QR code on the top right corner here. And here also is the fee for uh, postgraduate international students. And we provide international student scholarship for international bachelor and master students to attract excellent students in the world to pursue their studies at our university. The scholarship for bachelor students include waiver of tuition fee and waiver of residential college fee, the accommodation fee. And it's based on the length of the bachelor's degree program is for a maximum of either four or five academic years. For master students, the scholarship includes a waiver of tuition fee and waiver of accommodation fee. And it's based on the length of the master's degree program. It's for a maximum of either two or three academic years. If you are an international student applying for full-time bachelor's or master's degree program and you meet the admission requirements, you are automatically considered for this scholarship. No separate application is required. We will review all the applications and award scholarship to the students that have demonstrated excellence in their academic performances. And we also provide a QR code here. Using this QR code, you can access to our International Student Scholarship page and get the details of this scholarship. Thank you very much for joining us today. All the information we showed are available online. Please feel free to visit our website. And of course, please do follow us on the social media platforms. Bye.